So then, we just had WWDC 2023, and at this event, we saw some new Macs. And one of those new Macs was the brand new 15-inch MacBook Air. However, how does this brand new MacBook Air compare to the M2 13-inch MacBook Air that we actually got at WWDC in 2022? Well, today, what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to do a MacBook Air 15-inch versus the MacBook Air 13-inch review of specs for you to see what the differences are between both of these machines. So then, as you can see here on the left hand side, we have the MacBook Air 13 inch with the M2 chipset that was last introduced at WWDC. And then also on the right, we have the MacBook Air 15 inch also with that M2 chipset inside it. So let's get started then with this comparison. So starting with the actual display types, the actual display technology in both of these MacBook Airs are identical. And there are a lot of similarities in most of the tech as you will see going forwards. So this is an LED IPS technology. This is the standard sort of LED technology that we've had in MacBooks for many years now. In fact, I'll probably say for the last sort of six, seven years. And this is the same in both of these MacBook Airs. The main difference is actually to do with the actual screen size. The MacBook Air 13 inch comes with a 13.6 inch display, whereas this brand new MacBook Air 15 inch actually has a MacBook Air display of a 15.3 inch display. So it's definitely larger than its smaller brother. Then also the resolution, so the screen resolution, there's gonna be a big difference here. So with the 13 inch MacBook Air, it comes in at 2560 by 1664. And as you can see here, with the 15 inch MacBook Air, it has a resolution of 2880 by 1864. And basically what this means in pixels per inch, there's 227 pixels per inch in the 13 inch MacBook Air, but 224 pixels per inch in the 15 inch MacBook Air. So it's about three pixels pixels per inch less. However, with the 15 inch MacBook Air, you've got to remember, you would actually have this maybe slightly further away from you because of that larger display. So because of that, probably you actually see much more of a clearer picture on that 15 inch MacBook Air instead. Moving on though to the display refresh rate, the display refresh rate in both of these MacBooks are exactly the same. So this is a 60 hertz refresh rate. There is no 120 hertz, no pro motion on this. This is literally reserved for the pro models. Just like with the iPhones, we have exactly the same. The pro models only have the pro motion display. So it's 60 hertz refresh rate on both of these MacBook Airs. Then moving on to the brightness and true tone. Yep, both of them have a 500 nits brightness, what is really, really good for just basically generally most people out there. Obviously the MacBook Pros do have a far higher nits on that, but I'll talk about that in another video. But both of these displays also are both true tone too. Then it comes down to the processor and the CPU. Both of these MacBook Airs, the 13 inch and the 15 inch MacBook Air, both have the identical M2 chipset options available. So this is the options of either having the eight core, 10 core CPU, and also the same with the GPU cores. You can pick and choose between those ones. They're exactly the same options between both of them. And probably the performance is gonna be exactly the same amongst both two. For the RAM amounts, you have the same options again. You can choose between the standard eight gigabytes, what you get, and then you can also pick a 16 or 24 gigabytes of RAM for both of these machines. And again, the performance is identical in both of them. And then the same with storage again, both the options are exactly the same. So there's 256 gigabytes of storage all the way up to two terabytes. So there's a 512 gigabyte and a one terabyte in there too. And this is both exactly the same options for both machines. So then guys, just before we continue on any further into this video, I just want to quickly tell you that we have a giveaway happening at the end of June time. And at this giveaway, I'm giving away three prizes and it's an international giveaway. And the first prize I'm going to be giving away is going to be some of these. These are some AirPods 2 and one lucky person is going to get their hands on this. And then after that, another person is going to get their hands on these. These are AirPods 3. And then finally, one lucky person is going to get their hands on this. This is is an iPhone 13 Pro Max and I'm going to be giving away these prizes to three separate winners and we're also going to be doing a live stream of this to see who's actually going to get their hands on them and all you have to do is just put down 
in the comments below of what Apple gear you are looking forward to in 2023. Maybe this is something you've just seen at WWDC 2023, like the new MacBooks, or the new Mac Pro, or even the Mac Studio, or even the new Vision Pro, what is really, really awesome. Put it down in the comments below of what Apple gear or what technology gear you're planning to get, and also at the same time, if you're brand new here, and if you want to get the announcement of when that live stream of the giveaway is going to be happening, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Now, just quickly, guys, just want to say again, there are lots of scammers and spammers out there. Some of them impersonating myself. Just ignore them or please do report them. It's really easy to do. So just click on the three little dots and just report them like this. And with that, guys, let's go back to the video. Then moving on to the ports, the ports are again exactly the same. So they're all on the left hand side of the MacBook Air, so basically on the 13 and the 15 inch. And this is two time USB C ports. These are USB 4 ports or Thunderbolt 4 ports. And also, you will also get that MagSafe port as well on both sides of the actual MacBook Air on the same side that is. Then the operating system is at the moment, it is macOS Monterey at the moment, and this is available. You will get the latest version of macOS coming out later on into the year, and this will also be compatible. But at this point, at the time of making this video, both of them run the latest version. And I'm sure that both of these MacBook Airs will probably get updates for the next five to six years going forwards. Then for battery life on both these MacBook Airs, what's quite surprising here is that both of them actually have a battery life of up to 18 hours. It was thought that the MacBook Air 15 inch would actually have a bit more of a higher battery, but it doesn't actually have that. It's the same as the 13 inch MacBook Air, so you'll get the same battery life with it. Then for the charging, you also get USB-C charging and you can also charge by MagSafe. The MacBook Air 13 inch though can only charge up to 30 watts, whereas the MacBook Air 15 watt inch can actually charge up to 70 watts. So really in theory, the MacBook Air, even though it might have a slightly bigger battery, should in theory charge quicker than the MacBook Air 13 inch, mainly because it has a 70 watt charger, what you can charge up with. Then for the weight, there isn't actually that much in it between them both. The MacBook Air 13 inch actually weighs in at 1.24 kilograms and the MacBook Air 15 inch weighs in at 1.5 kilograms. So that's only slightly more for that bigger display. Then moving on to the actual stereo speakers, both of them do have stereo speakers and both of them are spatial audio too, what is really, really cool on that one. And then for Bluetooth technologies, they're both exactly the same again. They both use Bluetooth 5.3 technology inside. The webcam is exactly the same in that notch in the middle, and this is a 1080p FaceTime camera in the middle there. Then the actual prices of this, the actual MacBook Air 13 inch has actually been reduced by $100 this year round, so it's now $1,099 US dollars, and that will give you a 256 gigabyte base model, eight gigs of RAM inside it, and then also the MacBook Air 15 inch is $200 more. This will also give you that 256 gigabyte storage and eight gigabytes of RAM inside it so it's only costing you $200 more to get this model then for colors all the colors are exactly the same on both the models so this is the silver space gray the gold and the new midnight color that was introduced last year so with that guys will you be buying a new MacBook Air and which model will you be getting so then guys, there we have it. The brand new MacBook Air has come out at a really good price at $1,299 for this 15 inch model. And also the MacBook Air that came out last year has also been reduced by $100. What I think is absolutely amazing. To get yourself a 15 inch MacBook for this price is quite a good deal to be fair. And like I said, I'm definitely gonna be getting myself one of these new models. And I'm also gonna be physically comparing this model to the new 15 inch MacBook Air. But for today, as you can see, most of the specs are basically exactly the same. You're just getting that larger sort of display, that 15.3 inch display, instead of the 13.6 inch display that we got with the M2 MacBook Air that came out last year. I would also love to know what your thoughts are on these new MacBooks that have come out this year. Put them down in the comments below. And also guys, it's time to wrap up the video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please also make sure you click the like button. And also if you wanna hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons like this one today, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.